I am going to share with you an alternative to OpenSea through which you could sell NFTs for absolutely free and earn money online through your NFT collection. The alternative that I'm going to speak to you about is absolutely free of cost to sign up for and it works almost anywhere in the world. All you would need is a laptop or a smartphone along with a working internet connection and you're absolutely good to go. So I have received a couple of emails asking me about whether or not it is absolutely free to sell on OpenSea these days. Yes, when OpenSea started in the beginning, it was absolutely free. But these days, whenever we try to sell NFTs online through OpenSea, they may just ask you for a fee. So let's go ahead and try to see whether these guys are currently asking us for a fee to mint an NFT directly on the website itself. So assuming the fact that you have an art or you have a logo or a picture to mint as an NFT on OpenSea, let's try and list it out here to see what problem we could face right now in the video itself, okay? So in order for you to sign up or log into OpenSea, you need to have MetaMask, MetaMask is a multi-chain wallet through which you could log into not only OpenSea but Mintable and many other websites that cater to NFTs. So if you want to download MetaMask, you could just open the Chrome browser or the Opera browser or Firefox and you could just type in MetaMask extension. So see, supposing you're using Google Chrome, you could just open the browser and get to google.com and type in MetaMask extension. So you get all the results out here. Click on the first link for Google extensions and you're going to be directed to this page on which you are going to get an option to add the extension. So you click on that button and it gets added to your list of extensions out here. Once you do that, click on this option for extensions on Google Chrome and pin MetaMask out here so that it is easy for you to log in. The next thing is click on login. You get a pop-up like this. You, you select MetaMask. You get a pop-up to the right out here from MetaMask. And the next screen may or may not show up like this. If you haven't yet signed up for MetaMask, you would be asked to sign up for MetaMask. So you sign up and then you click on next and you're going to get this screen out here to sign the signature to log in to OpenSea using MetaMask. So MetaMask is going to link to your OpenSea account so that you could mint NFTs out here. So you click on sign. And we are completely logged into our OpenSea account. Now, sometimes if you are not able to log in, I would suggest you use your email address to sign up for OpenSea and then use MetaMask to log in completely. After the login procedure is completed, the next thing we do is click on create to mint an NFT. Then you get two options out here to drop a collection if you have your NFT collection or to mint an NFT out here itself. So for the purpose of this video, let's click on mint an NFT. Then you have to drop your files out here. So you could click on browse and upload the NFT that you would want to sell online. So I have uploaded an artwork. Click on create a new collection. So here we need to create a logo which is 315 to 350 pixels in JPG format or PNG or whatever it is. Click on this option. If you have a logo, you could uh, upload that out here. I created all these uh, artwork and logos on Canva, so you could use Canva to do that. Scroll down, next you would need to give a name. So I've given a name, and next, if you see, on the Ethereum blockchain, if you want to mint this to an NFT, this is gonna cost you like uh, $51.03. On the Polygon blockchain, which is much more cheaper, it's like approximately three cents. But this was previously for free. So the previous videos that I have made on my channel, in those videos, I've shown you how to mint NFTs for absolutely free on Polygon. Now, these guys have started charging a fee. This is something new. And if you click on see more options, you are going to get other blockchains on which you could mint your NFT. Okay, so if you check Arbitrium, you could see that the contract is going to cost you 11 cents. If you change this, even this and this are going to charge you. Okay, if you click on base, the base blockchain is going to show you 0.00 dollars but ultimately if you click on uh, continue you're going to get a pop-up like this from metamask and if you click on approve you click on switch network see here that there is an estimated fee of this much so this is not actually free okay whatever blockchain you see out here like zora or optimism or whatever it is 
it's going to charge you a fee ultimately through MetaMask. So the basic point here is you cannot sell NFTs for totally free of cost on OpenSea.io anymore. There is going to be a fee, whether it is like in cents or a couple of uh, dollars, but you have to pay a fee. Now, as an alternative, I've done a lot of research and I have seen feedbacks online and I came to the conclusion that Mintable.app is the best application online or website online which is going to allow you to mint free NFTs completely for free. Okay, so how to do that is very simple. You could click on the link in my description for Mintable and get onto the website. Once you're here on the website, you could see that these guys have clearly mentioned that you could mint your NFT on the blockchain for absolutely free. All right. So you could maybe go through this page and you could see the NFT collections out here, collectibles, what are the other features and all those things. So if you want, you could simply click on mint. You get a pop up like this and you could see on the Ethereum blockchain wherein you have two options. If you want to use uh, Ethereum mainnet or Ethereum L2, you could do a gasless transaction or you could do a traditional transaction. So you could go for Ethereum mainnet. That's the best. You could go for a check gasless transaction and click on proceed to mint now you would get a pop-up to sign up for an account with mintable so you could click on the sign up button out here create a username put in your email confirm your email create a password confirm the password and checkbox both these two okay don't leave any of these two unchecked and then click on create your account you would get a one-time code in your email address put in that code on your account out here and then you are going to be completely logged in and then there's going to be a prompt from MetaMask, something like this. So let me quickly log in. While you're logging in, if you get a pop-up from MetaMask to the right out here, I want you to go ahead and sign and completely log in using the MetaMask wallet so that it gets attached to your account with Mintable. Once you're completely logged in, this is going to be your dashboard. Here, you could go ahead and start creating NFTs. You could click on Mint. Then you could check box Ethereum. You could check this, check this and click on proceed to Mint. Once you do that, you directly get onto the listing page. So here in the listing, I want you to ensure that this is checked to easy. Okay, this is the first thing you need to do. After that, the next thing is to upload your artwork or upload your file. So whatever it is, like uh, images or videos or GIFs or music files, whatever it is, maximum to 100 MB. So you could click on upload and upload the file. So I have uploaded the file. The next option is private file or unlockable content. So this is like a bonus that uh, you could give to your buyers. If you want your buyers to uh, have unlockable content, something extra, you could upload that out here. And remember, and these files can only be downloaded by the owner, which is you in this case, right? So I'm not going to put anything out there. And next, uh, you need to tell your audience about this item. So you need to write an item description. So what I would suggest is if you have an idea about your NFT, you could give a description out here, or you could also create a description about this specific uh, NFT using AI. So you could get on to chat GPT. If you do not have an account with chat GPT, I suggest you create one using your email address and creating a password and then log in. After you log in, this is going to be blank and uh, you could check on this, click on settings. You could go ahead and click on this, click on dark to ensure that this is soothing to the eye. I'm sure you like it, right? So here you could just go ahead and put in a command like this. Okay, give me a description of a color blade face NFT collection. So you could just click on that button and chat GPT is going to automatically generate a fantastic description for you. So you could go through this paragraph. If there are any grammatical errors, if there is anything you would want to edit, you could edit that after you copy this and put it in that box. So you get back to Mintable, put that out here. You could see and just highlight or make this phrase, the color blade face bold so that it is actually visible even more. Okay, so you could just do this, make it bold, scroll down. You could just do this, just highlight everything, make it bold. Next, you could go ahead and just do this, just highlight, make it bold. There you go. You have a fantastic description about uh, your NFT that you are trying to create out here. OK, now the title, you have to give a title for this. So the color blade face collection. Whatever you want to name your NFT subtitle. 
So you could also put in a subtitle, something like this, the Color Blade Collection Attitude, whatever it is, okay? If you have any idea, something weird, something out of the box, uh, you could put this in a category like uh, Art, subcategory as Abstract. Next, how would you want to sell your NFT art? through fixed price or through auction. So I would always suggest you go for a fixed price so that you immediately get a sale. Okay, if you want, if you're interested to, you know, play around a bit, you could choose auction and you could uh, put a start price. Okay, maybe say $1 or $2. And also you could mention a buy it now price, not a problem, but I would suggest you go for a fixed price of maybe say $50. Okay, so $50. And if you want, you could checkbox this. If you want to transfer the copyrights to the buyer when they actually purchase it. So if you want, you could check this. If you want, you could leave it as it is. That's totally on you. And then you could click on list item. You get a pop up like this, which says you are about to send one transaction to the blockchain. Just sign a message in your wallet to mint and list this item. Click on proceed. Then you get a pop up like this to sign into your MetaMask wallet. You scroll down. And if you see this grayed out, you click on this arrow button to ensure that you have completely read this and you click on sign. Once you do that, within a few seconds, you get a pop up like this saying, congratulations, your NFT is up for sale. So you could click on view NFT and see that your NFT is live on the website for sale. And we are done. Your NFT is up for sales out here. If you want to create free artwork to have it as an NFT minted on maybe say OpenSea or Mintable, you could get onto these type of websites like openart.ai or diffusionart.co or maybe Canva. This is totally on you, okay? Openart.ai is an AI website through which you could just prompt a message and it's going to create an artwork for you. They give you 50 free credits which you could utilize to create free artwork. Diffusion.co is absolutely free. You could create unlimited artwork using AI, but it takes some time as compared to openart.ai. It works similarly to openart.ai and Canva has two versions. One is the free version and the other is the premium plan. So if you go for the free version of Canva, you could uh, use only the free tools. If you pay an upgrade, you could use the entire website's content. And it's very easy to use these websites to create AI art. For instance, let's say if you want to use openart.ai, get onto the website, sign up for a free account using your Google account or whatever is the prompt, then you completely log in. After you log in, this is going to be your dashboard. Okay, you could scroll down and go through all the images and whatever, uh, you know, content is available out here. Not a problem. But if you want to create an artwork, just click on create, get to the page out here and just put in your prompt. Say, supposing you put in Ferrari on a moon. After you put in your prompt, the next thing is the negative prompt. You could click on this link to get uh, commonly used prompts. Uh, if you want to use uh, photorealistic, you could just put that in out here. And then next is the model. What kind of model would you want in your artwork, whether it is anime or whether it is abstract or whether it is like a you know real picture or whatever it is, you could click on switch to switch like uh, maybe this. OK, stable diffusion. Then you could click on generate configuration. I would suggest you don't fiddle with any of these settings. Okay, these are the best settings selected automatically by the website. Okay, so you click on sign up to create for free. If you haven't yet logged in, you could just uh, use your Google account. Then once you create an account, you are going to see 50 trial credits. But since I have already utilized two credits, I have two credits less out here. You click on create and then the AI is automatically going to generate images for you out. Here. And within a few seconds or minutes, you're going to see your images out here. You could download these images and uh, you could utilize this for absolutely free on uh, Mintable or wherever you want to sell these images. Let me tell you that this is a free account that we're using. So the resolution is not going to be that high, but I'm just giving you an example. You could also use Canva to create extremely high resolution artwork, which uh, you could mint on Mintable and sell it as an NFT. Or you could also utilize diffusionart.co and create high resolution images and you could download them and you could, you know, mint it as an NFT on Mintable or wherever you want. If you liked my tutorial, 
channel for today i would want you to give it a thumbs up post a comment subscribe and hit the bell notification icon take care my friend